Hi, I'm Dr. Yang. I wanted to make this video about the coronavirus to put things into perspective and to explain it in some layman's terms. The topics I wanted to go over were, number one is, isn't this just like the flu? So why are we taking it so seriously? Number two, social distancing and what's happening with all of the uh, large gatherings uh, that are getting canceled. And number three, what's the real reason why we should take this seriously. So for the first one, you know, isn't this just like the flu? I mean, realistically, the, uh, from a pure number standpoint, the number of deaths from the coronavirus relative to the flu is actually less. However, the death rate, meaning of the people infected compared to the flu, it's actually much higher. It's 10 times higher uh, than getting the, the, uh, the yearly flu. So this is much more significant. In addition, it affects our uh, baby boomers, our uh, people above age 70 and 80, much more than the younger people. So disproportionately, it, it hurts our, you know, my parents' age people or our kids' grandparents. So the real reason we should be taking it seriously is really to protect our our, uh, you know, our baby boomers and our loved ones who are older than 70. So what is social distancing? So social distancing is essentially the main reason why these large gatherings such as uh, South by Southwest or these sporting events like the NBA or uh, these uh, soccer matches overseas where they're being played in empty arenas. The guidelines are any gatherings that are larger than 250 people, they're worrying, worried that someone may have the coronavirus and uh, very quickly will spread uh, throughout uh, uh, those contacts and it would be much harder to contain it and uh, find out who those people are and then let them know. So by having smaller interactions uh, it's much easier to, you know, if someone is found out to have coronavirus, it's much easier to uh, let those those few people that they interacted with to also self-quarantine. In some ways, social distancing with uh, is self-quarantining. So what they're doing is, the with the coronavirus, there is a uh, a delayed incubation period of two weeks before you would actually start develop, developing the disease. So you could be carrying it and be completely fine, and then later on, two weeks later, then you find out you actually do have the coronavirus. So without testing everyone, you could presumptively assume that maybe they are a carrier, and then we, we won't know uh, without testing. But uh, after 14 days, of self-quarantine if they didn't develop any symptoms then you can assume that they they'd never caught it another way to look at uh, the coronavirus is you know with as rapidly as it's spreading throughout the world uh, would we prefer you know two possible paths let's say one path is that the coronavirus becomes uh, like the SARS virus or the avian flu where we just talk about it in the past and say, wow, that was crazy that they canceled the whole NBA, uh, uh, put the NBA season on hold indefinitely, or you know, South by Southwest got canceled for this year. That's crazy. Um, or the other alternative reality, which is, oh, now coronavirus has spread everywhere. You know, this person gets it, and then uh, it can, they can get it multiple times. Uh, like a cold, uh, like the uh, common cold, you know, you're, you don't become permanently immune to the cold. You might catch it another year, which is a slightly different strain. So do we want the other reality where on a yearly basis we worry about the coronavirus, like the flu, uh, except with a 10 times more deadly uh, mortality rate, which disproportionately uh, affects our older population. So every year we would worry about you know, our, our parents or, grand, or the grandparents, uh, you know, uh, getting a very serious form of the flu, which is affecting their lungs and would affect their breathing. So this is the main reason why I think we should take it seriously. You know, whether it doesn't really matter who, you know, politically you support, but if you look at our current presidential candidates, those, you know, whether it's Trump, 
you know, Biden or Bernie or, you know, Bloomberg who had just dropped out. They're all above the age of 78. So they're prime candidates for uh, the people that would be most affected. Um, according to a BBC uh, article about uh, the coronavirus, um, you know, what are the death rates? Uh, in general, you know, if they're above age 70 or 80, the death rate is closer to like 10, uh, 1 in 10 or 1 in 12, which is quite high. It's not just the overall 1 or 2%, uh, which is coming from China or the current statistics. You know, if you look at a whole, it's like, oh, it's only 1 or 2%. But for the, our older population, if it's, you know, 1 in 10 or 1 in 12, if they, if they catch it, you know, they're, you know, if they catch it, you're really, you know, quite worried that something bad may happen. Uh, so that's all I wanted to say for this particular video. Hope it made some sense. This is Dr. Yang signing off. See you in the next video. Bye.